Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing the finale of the history and evolution of Universe Sandbox. So if you remember last episode we finished off in update 25 where we had gone through updates 21 to 25 and we saw that customization really had a massive increase in those updates but today we actually start in an update 27 as unfortunately I couldn't get update 26 to run. But just going over what update 26 actually was. So this was around October of uh, 2020 and it was the reimagined experience update which was um, 26. So it's basically just virtual reality um, updates but update 26 also had loads of sub updates. So it had the Star Fusion and Brown the Wharf update. So that's obviously when you increase a mass of a gas giant it starts the fusion process and then eventually it becomes a Red Dwarf if you make it large enough. Then in December of 2020... We had update 26.2, which was ending 2020 with a bang. So that was the uh, craters had the surface damage. Um, that was what was um, featured in that update. So yeah, surface damage and craters. And um, I believe it had um, explosions and more accurate vaporization of um, objects and stuff. So that was where the year of 2020 finished off. And then into uh, 2021 now. So into this year, um, up in February, we had update 26.3, which was a splish splash filling a bath update which um, increased collision fragments and frame rates um, and water distribution, which was um, pretty cool. So it was uh, oceans filling like a bathtub. Yeah, I remember when this came out earlier this year. That was pretty cool. And then into um, March, I think it's, yeah, or no, May, I should say. May was the Fast and Flurious update, which is update 27, which we are, um, that's what we're in um, currently at the moment. So this was the snow simulation improvements, more detailed temperature maps, better performance, new cloud visuals, and... Um, Oh yeah, yeah. This was the one with the cloud visuals, wasn't it? So yeah, this was this was cool. I, I I did like this. I think this was in recent times. I think this is probably one of my most favourite ones, just because of, you can change the clouds. So if we open this up, obviously you can do all of this now, which I, I really like the fit clouds personally. They're my favourite. But I think it's I think it's so cool. You can just do that. And also, if you look at Earth now, you can sort of make it a little more realistic while increasing the cloud amount. I think it looks. I think it's really really cool. You can do that. So yeah, that was um, what was featured in this. But well, um, yeah, two months old now this version. So pretty cool um, but what we're going to do is i'm just going to run the old performance test like we've been doing in all of these videos i'm just going to go over the rest of the uh, patch notes in the meantime so this update also featured superior snow uh, simulation and then um obviously lots of stuff to do with the um the old surface grid and, and bits like that so it also had um more customization for cloud visuals um they added new human objects in like all of the different um shapes and cylinders and all that uh which is pretty cool and there was also um object visibility so you can see all objects that would be normally impossible to see. So if you remember all the way back in episode one of this series, all the way back in episode one where we checked out the original version of the game and there was a feature where we could make all of the planets appear larger, where it turns out that was actually added in this update and I never knew about it. I never noticed it was added. So we're going to check that out very, very shortly after um, this has finished because... That's something that was really, really cool. Now, if you remember that video, I said I'd love to see that in the current game. But it turns out it's been here the whole time. They added it recently in Update 27, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at this one. Look, they've actually added water to the... Uh... So you can sort of see how this simulation has evolved as well, which is really, really cool. You can see like little bits of water are added with the materials in there. So pretty cool stuff. So let's see what sort of score we got. So 42 frames a second. Okay, so we're sort of still on the decline, I think, from the previous episode. So... Yeah, it's, um, that's a bit annoying, but oh well. So um, let's just quickly, uh, yeah, don't send that. Uh, what we'll do is, I'm going to go into one of the old, I'm going to go into the, one of the custom solar systems. And I want to try out this new setting. I think that would be really, really cool. So anyways, that's how do we actually access this setting? So it's a view object visibility. Okay. Right. So object visibility. Okay, so is, I think it's on custom. I think, I've, I've never actually used this setting, so... Um, this will be interesting, right? So, what, what should we use? So, we use um, uh, let's just go by name. I'll go into the enhanced solar system just so we can, uh, yeah, so we can see everything nice and easy. Okay, so here we are. So, we've got obviously custom system here. So, what we need to do is we go to the view settings, we open up the menu here, and it's somewhere here we do it. So, I think it's object visibility. I think is it something here? I'm not, I'm just trying to look at the actual settings because I'm not exactly sure how you find this. So it's object visibility underneath the view tab. Okay, so there should be like a little arrow we can open here. Okay, here we go. So object scales. So if I do this, 
there you go. So this is what was in the original uh, original version of the game, the original Universe Sandbox game. And I was like, we need this in the current version. But it turns out it was actually added earlier this year. And I never knew about it. So yeah, in May 2021. So, I mean, it's not been in the game that long. But awesome. Look at it. It's so cool. I love it. Look at it. And then also you can increase. So let's do that again. Um, I mean, how cool is that? Look at that. That's so cool. Honestly, that is so awesome. So you could do that. You can see Planet Nine. <laughs> hey, so that is that is really really cool. So obviously you can make it small, large, you can make it huge. <laughs> hey, so it's just uh, let's just see how that all appears. So oh, check it out. <laughs> it says Planet Nine. So where, where's Earth? Should we go to Earth. Okay, so um, oh, it's so weird when you zoom in. So let's actually head to Earth. I can just look in the night sky now and just see sort of what what like what exactly can you see here i mean there's neptune over there that is awesome so let's just land somewhere over here in california um and let's have a little uh, have a little look around in the sky so there's planet nine never be able to see that normally um because we don't even know if it's fully confirmed it is all the other planets you can see venus uh, there's Chiron, one of the outer objects neptune there uh what else have we got uh can we see any of jupiter and saturn anywhere there's um the sun mars mercury there's Jupiter as one of the asteroids. Uh, Vesta over there. You got Sedna. There's Planet Nine again. Oh, that is that is awesome. Uh, what's that? Hermea over there. That is such a fun little setting. I'm so glad that's been added back because that was that is awesome. So there you go. So this was secretly added in this update. Whoa! If you make him really large, look at Jupiter. It wasn't even like a full sphere shape. Look at it. What is going on there? Oh, that's so weird. But it becomes like a weird hexagon shape almost oh my god that is awesome so yeah there's all the uh there's the whole solar system if you zoom out super large version of the solar system oh that is so cool so there we are but also if you go back to realistic it just goes back to how it should be so that's awesome really 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 cool uh, that's been added yeah i didn't know it was there so yeah that was the object visibility in uh, may of 2021 with the uh, update 27 the original release of update 27 so awesome stuff indeed there Moving on into June of 2021, this was the Clouds in Motion update. So this was update 27.1. And this was the update where we could uh, simulate the cloud speed and um, stuff like that. And then the easier appearance editing and stuff like that. So they just made the customization tab um, a lot easier to work in that update, really. So um, that was cool. And then uh, moving on to August of 2021, we're almost at the present day. That takes us into update 27.2, the final release of update 27. And this was the individual object simulation manipulation. So there's the atmosphere adjustments um, update as well. So you could, this is where you could do the opaque atmosphere. So for instance, if we go to Venus here, go all the way to appearance, go to the atmosphere. And this is where you could play with this option here. So that was, that was a really cool feature. And this was something that people have been asking for for a long time as well. So it's great to see it was finally added. And just uh, playing with my custom Venus here, I kind of want to make a new version of the custom Venus now that you can actually do this. I didn't even think to do that, but we'll see that's really, really thick and bright. But if I just dim it a bit, just slightly see the surface and the clouds. I think that would make quite a, I think that'd be quite a good update to the custom Venus, actually. I have to have a little play with that and try and find um, what looks the coolest. Because in theory, I could change the cloud color as well, just like, try and make it look really, really awesome. So, huh, that could be, that could be cool to mess around with, actually. So... Yeah, that was the um, update added the opacity. So that's obviously one of the latest features in the game. And that does it for the update 27 era of Universe Sandbox. So now, moving on to the latest release, update 28. All right, everyone. So welcome to the end of our journey of the history and evolution of Universe Sandbox now, as we are in the present day now. So we're now in update 28. So this was the code name firing update. And this update was roughly around September of 2021. So obviously still fairly recent. I mean, just over a month ago now, really. So yeah, we've traveled a long way all the way back from what was it originally in the first game? It was all the way back in like 2008. And now we're all the way in 2021. So this is, um, it's been a long journey and we have seen how the game has evolved from being very, very basic and primitive to how very complex all the customization you can add. Because remember a few videos ago, you couldn't customize anything. 
and now you can pretty much customize every setting of the planet in game and stuff i mean it's absolutely awesome so without further ado obviously there's the full read up of the um update here so this was the shocking collisions the impact of heating and then just a few other highlights like additional information just a, a few bits and bobs like that and yeah this takes us in the current version of 28 so if we just have a look here this is update 28.0.3 so we're still in yeah, the the base version of 28 i don't know if they're going to do any like 28.1 or or 2 or whatever but yeah it could be um you never know down the line. We'll probably, I reckon we'll probably see maybe an update before the end of the year. But yeah, I have to wait and see with that really. But while we're just, um, yeah, we'll do the old performance test just to finish uh, finish it off. And uh, so we've done it in every update we've played. I think that'd be really cool. So we can see this simulation has changed a bit. Some of the atmospheres have got thicker. Or they've got like a thick blue atmosphere now, which is quite cool actually. I don't know if that was in the previous um, version or not. Um, so here we have obviously this simulation again. So yeah, most of it's all the same, but we can even see how the demo simulation here, the uh, performance test simulation has changed, because originally it looked completely different. There's obviously a few simulations that have survived all the way throughout, but so yeah, some are added, some moved. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting stuff there, so... That'd be um, quite cool. But yeah, while we're just going through this, guys, I really, really hope you've enjoyed um, this series of the evolution and history of Universe Sandbox as well. I'll make sure to combine them all into one big episode as well. I think that'd be really, really cool. And yeah, I'd like to thank the developers as well um, for having a little watch into these. Um, and especially Brent, who uh, gave me the version or the original version of Universe Sandbox in the first place. So he's one of the... Um, guys on the team if you didn't know so yeah brent massive thank you to him as well and yeah massive thank you for um yeah checking out um these videos i don't know if you've seen all of them but i know you've definitely had a peek at a few of them so a huge thank you to you um for doing that as well really really appreciate it and yeah just thank you very much indeed um but yeah just as we uh, finish off this simulation now let's see what our final score is in this performance test so our last one was 42 so we've gone up to 52 now so we've had an increase from update 26 and 20 or 27 i should say up into update 28 now so pretty cool stuff there uh, no, what? why not? Let's send it. So, there we are. So, current version of the game, why not? So, there we are. So, that takes us, obviously, to the present day of the game. So, remember the menu down here? Remember how primitive and um, this used to be? Well, look how complex it is in, obviously, the current version of the game now. So, all of the different objects you can do in there. All of the human objects that have been added over time, like the cube. See, obviously, these are all the more recent objects down here. The pigeon, all the way to, like, these, the pyramid, all, all of this. So, yeah, pretty, pretty... Um, awesome stuff indeed but yeah just as we finish up i think one more thing i think in, in the terms of customization i know we haven't had this in the game this isn't in the game but i'm thinking one thing that's never really been done is gas giant atmospheres now i'm wondering is that possible if any developer if you're watching just a little suggestion i know a lot of us um players have wanted this for a long time but the ability to add an atmosphere onto a gas giant and also be able to customize it the way as normal i think that's probably I, obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but I know a lot of people have always wanted this. So I'm speaking for I'm speaking on behalf of some of us. But w would it be possible to add atmospheres onto gas giants, and then obviously be able to customize and may maybe even cloud? But I think atmospheres, I think they I think they just need to. I think gas giants. I think that's just a tiny little thing they need, just to make them a little more up to date with obviously the rocky planets in the game. Because the rocky planets have had way, way, way more updates and customization. Than obviously, the gas giants. The only things gas giants have had is the band colors, practically. But I think. If there was a way to add atmospheres and obviously customise them like you could with the rocky planets, maybe not all the clouds and stuff, but just the atmosphere colour itself and just being able to add an atmosphere, I think that would be really, really cool. So, I mean, just something to keep in mind. I mean, <laughs> I know a lot of us have really wanted it, but yeah, that's just a suggestion, I guess. So, yeah, hopefully... Um yeah, ho hopefully one day. Who knows? But yeah, massive thank you again for everyone who has watched this series. And yeah, I really, really hope you've um, enjoyed it. Because yeah, that obviously takes us to the end. There's no more to show. This is the current version of the game. So yeah, guys, I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys and obviously stay tuned I'll combine all of these um, parts into one big video as well I think that'd be really, really cool so you can just watch it all in one big take as well that'd be really cool so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah I really hope you've enjoyed it um, like I said 30 likes also subscribe for more help us on the journey to 23,000 subscribers as well guys really really means the world all the support you guys have given me and with that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video goodbye